Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. Today we are going to answer at least two of the top three questions that you are always asking on this channel. It's been about a year and a half now and not a day goes by that I'm not asked the number one question, are the bands removable on these watches? Well, the answer, no. But today we will tackle the third most asked question and that is what about GPS? A lot of these nice fancy watches now come with GPS installed. And the question is, is it any good? Do they lock up? Can you go out? Can you get your, your running track record uh, recorded? Can you bring up maps and see where you are? Can you get directions? All those things depend on GPS. Well, I've avoided it for a long time because it's a complicated um, thing to look at. But one of our viewers, Adrian Kinsella has been back and forth with me on this and been pretty uh, insistent that it's really something easy to do just to see if the darn GPS works. So with this response to a conversation we were having, Adrian told me that if I go to the Google Play Store, and I'm telling you guys now, okay, if you got one of these watches, download something called Engineer Mode MTK Shortcut. You don't need to root your watch or anything. When you go into the app, you swipe three times to the left to location. You touch the location-based services. You're going to see all that. Touch GPS. Scroll to the top. Touch GPS off to turn it on. Then da 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 Yeah, it looks complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. So we're going to do this on the original D5 and on the D5 Plus right now. And you'll see how... <clears throat> easy. Sorry, Adrian. It looked really complicated. It is actually pretty easy to do. I encourage you to do it. Check it out on your watch. So, um, I guess we could do them both at the same time. So I've gone in already and I have uh, downloaded that app from the Google Play Store. And just to tell you the condition of the watches right now, there's nothing in them except these Antutu benchmark tests we used for another video, and now the new app that we put in, this Engineer Mode MTK shortcut, which I'm bringing up. Now, here's an interesting thing to show you the difference between the two watches, the uh, Android 4.4 and the Android 5.1. They lay the whole thing out differently. Um, so that's a decision factor if you're thinking about which would you like better between the two. He says, go one, two, three to location. One, two, three to location. Touch on location-based services. And you get this. Now, you can see it pretty easy on the one on the right. It's the same on the left. So I'm going to touch GPS. I'm going to touch over here in the upper left-hand corner. Then I'm going to scroll down. Okay, and here it says GPS off. I'm going to touch that. Aha! Now, like I said, I haven't done anything. Location services GPS has been turned off by default on here to save power. That comes up in the battery video. But we do want it on now, so we're going to say yes. Let's enable it. It takes us to the page in settings for turning on high accuracy mode. And I got to agree... To all of that stuff and Google Play Services is going to be using it and so forth. Same thing here. I'm going to turn that on. I want to enable it. Now you only need to do this once. Once it's enabled, it's enabled. But of course, once it's enabled, you're going to be eating up a lot of battery that's going to be going to your GPS thing. So trade-offs, only use GPS if you need to. If you're not using it, turn it off to save battery. Okay. We're there. Now, he says once we've got it turned on, we go to view, view. Uh-oh. You know what? We don't have it turned on. Going to go back to GPS. You see it still says it's turned off. That simply activated the possibility of turning GPS on. We have to touch it to turn it on. Now, pay attention down below to the time on your, um, on your watch on your watch, on your YouTube. I gotta make sure this goes on. It says GPS off. I think I'm tapping the wrong thing. Is that got it? There we go. Okay, watch down below the time on your YouTube channel and you're gonna see, and it shows differently on both watches. 
that it's in the process of acquiring the signal. Now, I have the watches just sitting facing straight up at the camera. These are the locations of the satellites that are going overhead. And when they turn green, if any of them turn green, we're starting to acquire the signal. So you're counting seconds, right? There we go. This one's turned green. And what Adrian says is if four or more of them are green, then you've got a good signal. And I see one, two, three, four, at least down there. But from the image, I can't get a good... Uh, Get it close enough to see without it falling out of focus but you see it looks like at least go away well all right we'll do this one we've got at least four maybe five there i cannot scroll this up so on the old one i'm not seeing the whole display the bottom third is cut off but as you can see there are a couple down there it looks like we're getting a spattering of the same similar green connected satellites on both watches and we are getting plenty look at the original one look at this one the bars down at the bottom show you which ones are acquired and there's more acquired than there are not acquired so easy answer yes both of them are able to acquire gps and they've done it in well you tell me the time from the time it flashed green subtract away the time that i touched the turn on button and uh, that's it Again, that's the easy answer. The more complicated answer is this. And I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to give you something about the complicated answer. Complicated answer is, well, some of these watches need to have some sort of internet connectivity for this to work. Not sure why, but Obviously, if you're going to use maps or something like that, you have to have the internet in order to download the app, unless you figure out some way to archive the map offline onto your watch, in which case you don't. But if you do, you got to have an internet connection. So I am going to go in here. There we go. I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. Oh, I even had Bluetooth on. I'm turning Bluetooth and Wi-Fi off. No connectivity whatsoever, okay? That's the first thing I'm going to do. That may or may not affect the acquiring of satellites. The second thing I'm going to do is put it on. Because we're hearing from a lot of folks that yada, 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 you can acquire GPS as long as you take the watch off and hold it up to the sky and uh, run around in a circle and chant, you know. Um, let's do one at a time. No connectivity to the internet. Watch is on my arm. We're going to go back in. I'm going to clear everything out. I'm going to come back into engineering mode. One, two, three, location-based services. I'm going to tap on Wi-Fi, or GPS rather. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to come over to view. And there they are in red. Again, from the top. Now I have the watch on, and like I said, I've got internet connectivity off, and you are tracking the time down in the lower left-hand corner, right? How many seconds it's going to take to acquire this. It was around a minute or less or initially, was that right? And we got definitely more than four satellites. Now Adrian says this could take up to uh, 15 minutes. I'm not going to hang out. Well, I am going to hang out for 15 minutes, but if it takes a lot longer than I have voice for here shortly, I'm just going to um, be quiet and edit out the middle part and tell you roughly how long it took. So far, we haven't gotten anything yet. You can tell I got a bit of a head cold, so I'm not going to talk as much as usual. Still nothing. Okay, well, we're waiting for that one. Let's go back over to this one. We'll see if that one comes in. Again, we're off the internet. We've rebooted, right? We're closing the apps. We're going to come back into it. One, two, three. I'm not even going to put this one on. I'm just going to do it this way. GPS. 
turn it on, go over to view. Okay, this one's sitting, not connected, not on my arm. Oh, boom, look at that, it came right back on, but without Wi-Fi or anything connected. Now, you see why it's really challenging to report to you guys the status of how good GPS works? Still nothing in the original. Got plenty of signal here. I should still be without internet connection. Ah, these swipes in just the right direction. Okay, see, it's still not connected, so I have no connectivity. There's no SIM card in here. So without any of that, but off of my arm, I'm getting connectivity. All right, let's take this one off. I don't know if it'll balance, but let's see if it will. We'll leave you there. Oh, look at that. I'm getting, I'm getting something coming in. And now with this one, I'm going to put it on. Boom, look at that. Look at them all light up. Again, not on the internet. But off of my arm. Now, off camera, just so I can get it on quickly, I have this one. Yeah, yeah, we know you're working. I have this one. I've cleared all the app out, right? We know we're not on the internet. Now I'm going to run it. One, two, three. Location. See how quick it is once you learn it? GPS. Turn it on. Go to view. And we wait. Only difference here now from what you just saw a moment ago is I have it on my arm instead of just holding it. This is the new number one D5 Plus. So now I could go through every watch I've got here and I could load this app up and I could do this test for you and I could show you how quickly it will acquire GPS. But if we run into the same problem that if you wear the watch, it blocks the antenna from receiving the signal. What purpose is that? I mean, maybe, maybe if, uh, you know, you really need it and want it and need to get your location stuff, you're willing to take the watch off and hold it. Well, great, but I'm not getting anything down there. That's where the little bars would show up. Let's take the watch off. Well, you know what? Before I take the watch off, I'm going to turn it upside down for a moment. Maybe... The antennas are in the bands or something, and maybe it'll acquire if I have this band up. Anything new? How about uh, that way? Nothing. Oh, no, no. I mean, the dots are there. It's showing where the satellites are, but we're not acquiring them. Let's take it off. I'm going to play with you now. I'm going to lift it just a little bit off my arm. Ah, there, you see the first one coming in, the little red, but just a little bit. Take it all the way off my arm, and there they go. Lighten up like Christmas. Wow. So, here's your answer, folks. What about Wi-Fi or uh, GPS? Yes, it works as long as you're not wearing the watch. Put the watch back on, what happens? Do they stay? They're going down. They haven't gone off. Maybe what you need to do is take the watch off, acquire the connection, and then put it back on again. I don't know, I'm seeing maybe three, four, oh, and it's gone. All right, I hope that helps. And if you got a, uh, 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 redirect over to this video in response to your question either about are the bands removable or what about GPS, then here's the long answer you've been looking for. All right, thanks for watching.